In the example of the bottle rocket, we might be interested in working out the power or the rate at which energy was transferred. So we'll reduce the formula power equals energy or work done divided by time. And in the bottle rocket, the type of energy we're considering is kinetic energy, which is given by EK equals half mv squared. M is the mass, and V is the magnitude of velocity, uh, which is the speed in this case. We know the mass is equal to 1.309 kilograms. And to work out the speed, we use V equals distance divided by time. And the distance after the rocket had accelerated um, covered with 1.50 meters divided by a time of 0 0.56 seconds. And that comes out approximately 2.7 meters per second. I'll round my numbers in this example so you don't, I don't have to write a lot of digits on, on this board. Once we've got the speed, we've got the mass, we can work out the kinetic energy. And so that's EK equals half times the mass, 1.309 times 2.7, don't forget to square that value. And that should give you an answer of approximately 4.8 joules. I've rounded mine to two significant figures. And we can now use this value to work out the power and the t uh, as long as we know the time over which the energy was transferred. Now the time that the energy was transferred was the period during which the rocket accelerated, and that was 0 0.44 seconds. So just to recap, this speed, 2.7 meters per second, that was the speed that the rocket had reached after it had finished accelerating, and so it's top speed if you like. And the time over which it accelerated is what we're interested in in working out the power. And so now we can use the formula again, power equals energy divided by time. We substitute in our values, so we had 4.8 joules divided by 0 0.44 seconds. And that comes out to two significant figures as 11 watts. We could also write that as 11 joules per second.